Hello everybody and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. And today we have our final run. Everything has been completed except for Lilith. And before we jump into this run, I want to just go ahead and get this question out of the way now. The next video is going to be the breaking run. It's the run where basically we go back, we go to our little, you know, stats page, we find our items, and we find every single missing item that you know we need here and i would just want to ask now would you prefer the video to be an edited run or would you actually like to see how a breaking run is done in its entirety the reason i ask is because it's a little bit of mix of knowing how to do a breaking run and a little bit of mix of a little bit of tedium i might you know speed up a little bit of the tedious parts but i'm just curious I know I, the reason I ask is I've never really done a full-on breaking run on YouTube. I normally do them on stream. But anyway, let's jump into today's. Let's jump into today's run, shall we? And we are going to be playing as Lilith. We need to go to the dark room. And you know what? After doing after doing Maggie, I don't think that this will be that bad. I think that this will end up being just fine. I know I've had my issues with... I've had my issues with playing as Lilith, but after doing Maggie and realizing, you know, the, the whole, you know, getting hit like 8,000 times and not really caring, I've started to really, like, see just how much the Keeper basically, it, it, it kind of trains you. Like, it makes you a much better player at the end. Like, once you've played the Keeper, it's just like, oh, wow, this is a lot different. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. And there was a lot of nice feedback going over, like, how exactly we should, you know, handle things from here on out once, once the runs are done. And I think you all will be, I think you all will be interested in how we do things. But that's for, that's for another time. That is for another time. Now, now let's just go ahead and get good old Lilith done. Let's just finish her off. Ow. Eh, luck up. I'll take it. Why not? There we go. A little bit of luck up never hurt anybody. I actually don't remember if Lilith starts with luck down. I think it's only the Lost and the Keeper that start with luck down. And we're going to be getting a cube of meat, which will be kind of handy here. A little bit of an orbital to go along with our two little followers assuming I don't end up you know getting myself killed here thankfully he drops a soul heart for us so I shouldn't have to worry too much it's just getting used to the it's getting used to the followers my, my brain keeps thinking that where the tears are or where my center is and that's not actually true all right so we'll grab a soul heart here and we'll grab the ball of bandages okay so next we need to find our item room and hopefully get hit just a, just a tiny bit less. We're probably going to be just using the ball of bandages for the majority of the of the rest of this run because, yeah, I like I like the ball of bandages. It's very nice and it's very easy to use, except for against those guys. Whew. There we go. As long as we don't use it on the, uh, as long as we don't end up using it on the uh, dark green one there, then we should be fine and we can continue doing this. There we go. And I won't have to worry. And I know I, I, this gets brought up almost every single time and I never really answer the question. And that's why and that just keeps asking why do you not like the ball of bandages so much? And the answer is very simple. The ball of bandages has a smaller hitbox. That's really it. It block. It used to before the patch. It used to not even block tears, which means if you wanted to use it as an actual orbital, it didn't do much of anything. So, yeah, it's kind of it's kind of counterproductive of being an orbital, and it was basically useless for trying to kill things like Isaac with. So it was just it was just painful to try and use most of the time. Now I don't know if it's been changed at all, but. I know it blocks tears, but I think the hitbox is still kind of wonky to try and use. It's still a little bit smaller, so I don't feel as confident using it as I did with uh, the cube of meat. 
When we get Cuban meat, then I can pretty much, you know, pretend that we're doing a speed run, more or less. And Kane's other eye. Not as good of items this time around. Again, this is why I'm glad that we have this item. Because I don't have to rely too much on our other things here. A little unfortunate that we did get Curse of the Blind. Because that means my Devil Deal is going to be iffy, to say the least. But I still think it's worth it to risk the devil deal there because I don't want to be on angel rooms as Lilith. It's really only one, two items in there that I'm even going to want and chances of me finding those two items are very small. Alright, some soul hearts there. Not bad. Definitely definitely need the extra health here. And you know what? We'll go ahead and use our little friend. Now, once you actually upgrade the ball of bandages, I think it believe I believe it has the same hitbox, so that's kind of good there. We get another soul heart, so we got a lot of health. Eh, sure, why not? Addicted, addicted, doubling the damage you take. I like how this is like near the end. <laughs> this is near the end of Isaac. I'm, I mean, I'm, you know what I mean. Like, we're close to getting 1,001%. Now I decide to actually explain half the things I'm picking up. Is there anything else that I want in here? I mean, I could go into my curse room. That's definitely a potential there. That's definitely potential. We're going to have to try. Ooh. Real close there. I'm really hoping that he just jumps in... There we go. Jumps in front of his bomb. Oh, it's less I have to do. There we go. I might as well take the thing here. Latch key, another soul heart, couple of keys, a little bit of luck up. Very nice. And we're going to go ahead and take our double deal. Call of the Void. Now, that's not necessarily the worst item that I could have gotten. That's actually really nice. If you know how to work that item and you have a decent amount of luck up um what is it Ath me i i'm gonna i'm not gonna lie i don't know how to pronounce it as long as you have a decent amount of luck up you can actually you know kind of ram yourself into enemies obviously i didn't use it that well in that room but um when we get when we get rooms that are just filled with like a bunch of small enemies it's actually beneficial to just ram yourself into the enemies and just let that thing take the wheel. So we're actually going to be able to use that to our advantage a little bit here. And another Curse of the Blind. What am I supposed to do with all these Curse of the Blinds? What am I supposed to be doing with all of these Curse of the Blinds? I want to be able to actually see what I'm picking up here. Okay. So like right here, I'm going to try... Now, see, that, that was a very good amount of enemies killed there, but it just didn't give me any of the hearts. So we didn't get... So we want a little bit more luck up before we really start spamming that ability. But overall, it will give us more health. There we go. So we got a heart back. We're going to go ahead and take store credit here and buy a free item. Spider mod! Nice! I like spider mod. It makes me happy. Um, sure. We'll go ahead and fight the Fallen here. I really don't want to uh, bump into the boss until after he splits up, so that way we can hit both of them with that ability. Actually, beneficial here. I just don't hit either of them. Brother Bobby! Sure! Why not? We'll just... <laughs> we'll just keep adding more and more of the terrible followers. So, ball of bandages and... The other thing are pretty much all I have here. Hmm. Need more luck up. Don't know what this is. Number one. Well, I mean, I like it, but at the same time, I really don't. It's not going to be very beneficial to me. Okay, we're going to have to... We're going to have to wait there. Nope, we still got three hearts. We're good. Uh, I don't know what that does. <laughs> it's a trinket. Hundreds of hours in Isaac. Don't know what any of the trinkets do. I still forget what half of the, like, base trinkets do. We've gone over this. Uh, 
I know people are going like, oh my god, you're tanking so much health. Don't worry, it'll pay off. It will pay off. You trust. As soon as I find a Larry. As soon as I find a single Larry is when we're gonna just get all of our health back. Something over here? Oh, there it is. Nice. Uh, we'll grab that key when we come back. Oh, I wanted it. Oh, well. Oh, we have a dark bum. When did that happen? When did I get dark bum? Uh, oh, right. The cambian consumption thing here. Eat your fill. Have health so that I can tank more of it. Perfect. All right, well, that's actually coming in handy now. Wow, that's a lot of followers. I'll just kill them with overwhelming force at this point. All right. Well, this is definitely an interesting build. I'm creating a very potential tanky build here that can just destroy enemies. Um, by just having like 20 followers. I'm okay with this. I wonder, do I keep the Dark Bomb? I don't think I do. I think he's only for this floor. I think. But if I keep him, then I'm pretty much set. I mean, Little Chad and Dark Bomb go hand in hand together. So let's see if I keep him. I don't think I do. No, I do. Okay, well, I've got plenty of health now, so I can afford to begin the, uh, the tanking, as it were. We can just continue tanking all of this health against the uh, multiple enemies. Still no reason to do it against these guys just yet. Once we start getting like two rows of hearts, then I'll just start like face ramming into everything. I did not mean to do that, but you yeah, know, whatever. Hey, we've got the scissors over there too. Can I do anything with that? I don't think I can. No. No, I can't. And this is a completely dead end. Alright. Cool. Uh, shop. This isn't a curse of the blind for once. So we can actually just go into our shop and see what exactly we can get here. I would like to go into my... I would like to go into my shop. Please. I would like to do that. Thank you. Sackhead is amazing and we're gonna get it because it just gives you tons and tons of batteries and we're also going to grab oh wow <laughs> i can actually get sacks from the donation machine that's kind of funny actually all right so that's going to give us plenty of bombs keys batteries pretty much any kind of consumable that i could ever want so it's all good I like it. And then we'll just keep ramming our face into everything. Just wait for them to... There we go. That's fine. I actually don't... How many... Yay, I made Super Bandage Girl. Look at that. Look at that. I made Super Bandage Girl. Who to thunk? I think that I think I have Super Meat Boy. I can't remember if I have that one. I really can't remember if I have Super Meat Boy. I'm pretty sure I do, but I can't remember. Oh well. Well, I've unlocked something. I thought I could have sworn I already did that with the last Lilith I had, or maybe the Lilith that I had I did the. Maybe the last Lilith that I had, I did the other way around. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Cool. Give me that. Give me all this health. And what do we get? Ooh, Rotten Baby. Sure, why not? I'll take Rotten Baby and I'll take Spirit of the Night so that way I can have a little bit of flying. We're going to go back and hit all of these things that we ended up missing. 
Like those keys, those chests. I could grab the scissors, but there's no reason to. So I'm not gonna. No. Sure, why not? You know what? I'm just gonna take you just so you don't show up anymore. I've got plenty of health, so I'm not really worried. All right. Hanged man. That literally does nothing for me. Okay. Uh, there's no reason to really go in here, but we're going to go ahead and bomb all these things. Maybe I can find a little bit of extra money. Maybe some hearts for our dark bomb. Maybe a ton of batteries. Another hangman. Lovers. Go ahead and eat up. Another hanged man. Oh, I get it. You really like the hanged man card. How many times are you going to give me that? All right. We still need to find our item room here. All right. We have like one damage up, but 20 followers. I'll take it. I will take it. <laughs> Here, buddy. Here, buddy. Open your face up. There we go. And Dark Bone will keep us supplied on health. Hey, let's just throw another follower on top of this little train here. I'll just have every little follower known to man. What's in here? Oh. <laughs> Just double all of them. <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. This is just beautiful. The amount of followers that I have. I have no real damage. I just have a lot of hits. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. I I think that might have been wasted. I don't know if that was Dark Bomb number one or Dark Bomb number two that just ate that. Oh, well. Uh, I guess we'll go to the right here and grab some free money. Sure. More batteries. And that's going to be it. Okay, cool. And another battery and another heart. Thanks, buddy. So now I've got plenty of health to just go back to face. Stop giving me this card. Oh. I'm back and I can just go back to ramming my face into everything. So let's just get a swear. Okay, good. It's not a, it's not another card. You know what? I, th I think I'm going to keep the strength card for like, I don't know, a boss rush or something. I could make my boss rush if I really wanted to. I probably don't want to, but I could, it would, I'd be able to have like 8,000 followers. Maybe I should rush for it. Maybe I should rush for the boss rush. It's 20 minutes, and it's a curse of the law, so I'm probably not going to make it. I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to see where this ends up going. As long as we keep getting health like that, then we're going to be fine. Here, we'll have two sets of followers. Where you all at? Come back here, ghosts. More soul hearts, more batteries, more bombs. What do you got for me? Sticky bombs. Sure, why not? And our shop. Definitely gonna take mom's key there for the extra chance at finding stuff inside of our chests and load them full of items. I am going in the complete opposite direction that I need to go right now to find our boss. Hmm. Which way do we need to go? Thank you. Whoop. That's to our curse room. I don't really care about curses right now. <laughs> and we are just gonna fill up on health here. Alright, cool. So just face ram to victory. Yeah, that's what I was saying with this build. We don't have any real damage, but we're going to use our health for damage, which I've, you know, in any kind of game, I've always been a fan of any kind of character that uses health as a resource, which is why I kind of liked, you know, Krieg so much back in the days of Borderlands. He just, just didn't care about his health. He just used it to tank his way through everything. Mm -hmm. 
More money, more stuff. Soul heart? Dark heart. Even better. All right. Really need to find my boss. Where are you at? There you are. Okay. I really don't care what those are. I actually got more health than I lost. Neat. What's in here? Krampus? Hey, buddy. How you doing? Thanks for the coal. Probably not going to use it, but thanks for it. Rules card. Rules card. A piece of paper is your guide. All right, now we can start going pretty fast. I'm feeling very confident in my health here. And I don't want to go this way. Even though I could get a lot of hearts off of it, I just want to find my boss so I can get to my boss rush. Yeah, I just want to go for the boss rush right now. I'll quickly check what's inside of here. A lot of... A lot of bombs and keys and things like that. Another thing over there. Some keys. Okay, let's let's continue moving on. It should be to our right here, from what I can see. And we'll, we'll, we'll probably end up slowing down once we actually get... Yeah, once we actually get to the next floor, we'll start slowing back down again so that way we don't have to actually worry. Because I know I am fighting Hush. That's just not happening. Yeah, I could spawn infinite health in the Hush fight. Still not doing it, though. So many followers. So many. We're going to just bomb our way out of there. Looks like we're going to have to go through this L room here. I'd rather not, so we're just going to bomb our way through. Hopefully this is the correct direction, which it looks like it is. And what do we have here? Two of hearts, stars card, strength card. And we're going to use the friendship thing real quick here. There we go. Um, doesn't look like we got anything in here. What are our cards? Balls of steel. I'll take that one and move on. And we need to go to the dark room, right? Yep. Dark room it is. Let's see. X-ray specs, ball and chain, crap the sky. Or You know what? Let's take another follower. Pop our strength card. Get another strength card car yeah sure why not and now we begin the multiplying of all of the followers i just want to see how many followers we have by the end of this you know what bonus points if you can keep track of how many followers i have by the end this is your challenge Okay, try and figure out how many followers I have by the end of this boss rush. That's what you need to do, okay? Is figure out just how many followers I actually have. Because there are so many of them. There's just so many of them. I'm just going to start wrapping around the room. I wonder if you, I'm pretty sure if you get too many, you'll just crash the game. I hope we don't have that many. Oh, I have Little Brim now. Nice. Cool. Also, if you're doing your calculations, remember that every time I make a, a bandage ball baby, uh, I get a new bandage ball, so... Just keep that, just keep that in mind now. This is way too many followers, man. This is way too many followers. More followers. And this, you know, I, I'll, I'll admit, this is just fun to do as Lilith. This is the one thing, one thing I really look forward to when I play as Lilith and... Is doing the boss rush. 
Because you just get so many. Uh, two of clubs? Sure, why not? Let's pick up another soul heart there. The damage numbers. The numbers, Mason. What do they mean? Oh, poor, ch poor little Chad, man. Poor little Chad. I'm gonna be impressed if someone can actually figure. Oh my goodness. There. How many followers? Wait, wait, wait. How many followers do I have? How many, huh? How many followers is this? I have to go around the entire room before the back end even starts moving. <laughs> oh, it's too much fun. That's too much fun. All right, let's move on. And I have full health minus one heart because I use my strength card and I was basically unkillable there. Nice. Well, that was definitely fun. Now, the question is, do I slow down or do I just keep... Do I just keep pace? I think I just keep pace here. And I'll just let... Uh, I'll just let the game do it for me. Let the game choose my pace here. Because, I mean, if it's just going to keep doing that... That's just ridiculous. Two of hearts and do anything. Joker? Oh, Brimstone. Yeah, sure. Why not? And you know what? We'll go ahead and take the pentagram as well. And that'll give me Leviathan. And that's pretty cool. All right. Well, now we're going to want to slow down because obviously, you know, I don't want to end up dying here. So we'll we'll take a second to to cool our jets just a little bit here. Star's car doesn't do anything for me. And we're already back up to six hearts. Well, five hearts now. I'm sure we'll be fine. Wow. This is one hell of a build. This is really one fantastic build. But really, no, I don't want to fight Hush. God, I, I want to fight Hush with this build, but I just don't want to deal with his damage reduction. Afterbirth plus, you know what? First thing I want to do is remove his damage reduction. Just if Blue Baby has 2,000 health and uh, Mega Satan has like 5,000 health, just give Hush like I don't know six or seven thousand and call it a day. Just give him six or five, you know, six or seven thousand, call it a day, and that'll be that'll be him, and he's done. You know? Oh boy. I have mom's key, so this will be interesting to see how this whole thing plays out. How will this whole thing play out? Let's... No! Oh, I was really hoping for more. Now I'm sad. Darn. Oh well. I tried to keep him alive, but unfortunately, he just, he wouldn't. Now I have 99 bombs. I don't know what to do with the 99 bombs. Uh, Hangman, didn't I have a strength card? No, I have a stars card. Where's that gonna take me? Over here, I guess. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll go this way now. I like, I like the fact that Brim Baby is in the fourth position. That's really where he he starts to shine. It's the fourth position. Uh, what did that do? Speed up and tears up. Yeah, sure, why not? Do a little bit of extra damage. I think we're going to want to be heading down here. I should have tanked that. Although I just realized I'm going to be proccing the negative now every single time I face plant. So it's not as strong of a build as I would typically want. But I think it'll I think it'll do just fine. Hmm. And you'll have to excuse me, because I, you know, once I get into into situations like this where my my build is pretty much set at this point, I ignore a lot of stuff. 
I do. I get just enough to finish the run, and then I just kind of keep going. Okay. Ooh, that'll be a nice big meal for you there. There we go. Grab ourselves a nice little heart. Where the hell is this? Oh, there it is. Perfect. All right, now let's take a moment to think. Do I want to fight Hush? Answer, no. Okay, good talk. I don't think I have to move because I just have like infinite or go down, 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 down. Okay, cool. Almost went up out of habit and that would have been terrible. That would have been the worst. Hmm. Can't really do anything with you. Oh! Neat! Well, we'll take Guppy's Paw for a Guppy Touch. And then we'll take Abaddon for the extra hearts. And I'm going to leave the flying there where it stands because I already have flying. I don't do anything for me. So I have the potential here to actually get... Oh, no. I do not want Suicide King. Last thing I need to do is fat finger that. So I have the potential here to also become Guppy on top of everything that we already have here. Guppy's now possible. Because we are going to be going to the dark room, and it is a small chance, but it is a chance nonetheless. Uh, let's check our cursed room. Feeling, feeling lucky. Wheel of Fortune. I should have carried that. Think about it. I should have. I should have carried that to the dark room. Oh well. I didn't quite think that one through. I guess if I find another one, I'll carry it with me. Joker Chariot World. Joke. You know what? We'll carry the Joker card with us. That's gonna get a better chance anyway. That'll give us the better opportunity to find more stuff. I don't know what to do about you. Thanks for the quarter, I guess. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Oh, definitely want to check all the red chests. What you got for me? Guppy? Nope. But you'll give me some hearts to play around with. All right. Come on out. <laughs> oh, the laser beams. The laser beams. All right. I apparently did a thousand damage to something. I'm not entirely sure what, but cool. Serpent's Kiss has now appeared in the basement. Well, isn't that nice? All right. So let's see if we get any guppy pieces here. Well, I did. Just not in the way that I wanted to. So we'll take Maw the Void. Uh, I mean... No. If I get more hearts, I can... I can come back to it if I get more hearts. Ah, uh, and there went our chance at Guppy. Oh, well. There's really only... Like, the only reason to even go back there now is if I actually get the last piece that I need. So I would need to find one more piece here. Because I'm only, I'm only one piece right now. So picking up Maul the Void was a much better pick here. Also, I'm pretty sure Maul the Void doesn't actually do anything? I think? Also, I got another follower. Neat. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Maul the Void actually does not work on Lilith. Because she can't shoot tears, thus she can't use Maul. Well, that's unfortunate. I kind of wanted to use it, too. Oh, well. At least I got a little bit of a damage up. Need to play a little careful here. Because I don't want to throw the run. So hopefully Dark Bum will just, you know, fill up my health here. Or he's going to be a dick. Where are you going? I know you're feared. 
I hate fighting feared enemies. Especially feared bosses. I have no idea where they're going to land. I just have to move and hope for the best. Hmm. Probably going to have to go through that large room there. I've already got maximum tier rate, so Thin Odd Mush wouldn't do anything except lower my damn... Yeah, I hate these things. Lower my damage, so we don't want to do that. Okay. Uh, another item. Another follower! Sure! Why not? I don't know how I dodged all that, but sure. Ah, uh, another follower! Yeah! More followers! More followers! Just keep giving them to me. How many followers can we get before we fight? Ooh, dead eye. Actually, I don't know if that does anything. I don't think it does, because I'm not the one technically shooting, and I don't know if it works with brimstone. Ow. Well, that hurt. Looks like I'm gonna have to go three hearts into the into the fight, which isn't the worst. It's fine. I'll deal with it, but I was hoping for a little more. Which way are we going? Shoot tears in the back of my head. think this is the correct way because yeah there's no way those unless those connect which i mean they could i've seen weirder combinations here hey thanks for the soul heart all right hey gates how you been buddy yeah, eat those. That should give you a heart. Perfect. All right, I've got enough health now to finish off this run. If I get hit this many times in the in the lamb fight while having like all of these followers, I really don't deserve the win. So I'm gonna have so many orbitals and things that block tears and all of that madness. So let's just jump into the fight here. And right now, all the followers are actually stacked up on top of each other. So, there we go. I don't even need that many hearts. All right. Well, there we go. That is all characters completed. So, Succubus has appeared in the basement. Dark Baby has appeared in the basement. And that is all characters now completed. Most of the optional objectives are now finished. All of the challenges are now done. So all we have left to do now is to do a breaking run. That's all we have left is to just break the game and touch every single item. And then we've done it. 1001% will be completed. Thank you so very much for watching, everybody. If you've been enjoying this video, enjoying this series, do me a favor and hit the like button. I'd greatly appreciate it. It makes me feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside when we go over a thousand. And I will see you all in the next video, everybody. Later.